going on boxing fans? Jordan Williams here at the distance. Got a prediction for you guys. It's going to be my last prediction for my um, hiatus. This one's going to be for this use of Mac versus Tavoris Cloud for the IBF Light Heavyweight Championship. That takes place on June 25th on HBO. Um, puts together the challenger use of Mac against the champion Tavoris Cloud. Yusuf Mack has kind of been around. He's been fighting contenders over the last couple of years. I believe like February 2009. He's able to get a very good quality win over Chris Henry. Um, he outboxed him. He got enough um, early early rounds in and just you know beat him. He had a fight last year against Glenn Johnson, which was a fight that was going to set up a match for the IBF Light Heavyweight Championship against the Wars Cloud for August 7th. Um, which Glenn Johnson had won, where he had gotten, where Yusuf Mack had gotten knocked out, um, and this led to Glenn Johnson's previous light IBF light heavyweight championship against Tavares Cloud. Um, Tavares Cloud, I believe, fought in December. I didn't get to see that fight, but Tavares Cloud is a is um decent light heavyweight champion. Um, I think he's still developing. Um, out of Florida, um, I think my problem with Tavoris Cloud had always been inactivity. Inactivity um, always been quite the. It could do a whole lot. I think inactivity can do a lot to mess you know, with a fighter, um, a fighter that's still developing, of course. Um, at this point of Tavoris Cloud's career, I don't think he should be fighting twice a year. I think he should be trying to aim to fight three times a year. I think that should be what he aims for. Um, just due to the fact that I think he's still developing. And I still think that there's certain aspects that have that has to mature with him. Um, yeah, he has a quality win over he has two quality wins over Clinton Woods and Glenn Johnson, two older fighters. Yusuf Mack is another older fighter, another veteran within the sport. So, with these with these older fighters, you know, what is it going to do for for towards Cloud when he go when he steps in against the younger fighter? I know I think the last fight he fight back in December. I think that was against the older fighter as well. I'm not too sure. I need to kind of look into that. I'm just kind of doing this, you know, I'm kind of freehanding this video anyway. But Taurus Cloud, hands down, has a lot of talent. He's very athletic. He's athletic. He, you know, has a very good, very good intense work rate. And, but I think that there's just certain aspects about him that just need to be improved. Um, so in this fight, it gets use of Mac. Use of Mac. Um, in this fight, pretty much what he wants to do is he does want to he does want to be very light on his feet in this fight. He doesn't want to be caught by you know he doesn't want this to be an inside fight at all. He wants to use his jab. He wants to you know he he wants to move and he wants to box. You know he just wants to box around um, towards Cloud. He wants movement. You know he doesn't want to necessarily set up anything. Um, and the, I mean he doesn't want. Tavoris Clouds has set up anything in this fight. And the reason being is because Tavoris Clouds is one of those fires that if he hits you with one shot, another shot's going to come behind it. Yusuf Max does not have that good of a chin, if you ask me. Um, he's been knocked out, I think, a couple times. Um, I know Glenn Johnson knocked him out. But, you know, in this, in this specific fight, what he wants to do is he does want to use the jab, but he wants to double the jab. He wants to double, the, double up the jab. Um, keep use the jab to maintain space. Use move even he can even use movement to kind of set up his jab, similar to what Frosh did last night against Glenn Johnson. Um, wants to use the jab pretty much as kind of measuring stick in this fight. Use the jab to stay outside. Use the jab and move. Um, also look for the probably look for the overhand right above towards Klaus guard. Look for also um, don't lay on the ropes. Don't fight this at the center of the ring neither, because if it's at the center of the ring, Tavoris Cloud will pretty much get inside. Could probably get inside and do what he wants to do, of course. So, in this specific fight, it's all about being light on the toes, not having too much weight on the toes, jabbing, throwing jab combinations, um, and looking for the overhand right above the guard. And he could very well win this fight. Tavoris Cloud. Tavoris Cloud, very good fighter, um, if you ask me. He's a very good fighter for a fighter at his, I guess, a titleist, you could say. Good fighter for a titleist. Is he ready for the Jean Pascals and Chad Dawson's? No. I don't think he's, 
Well, I'll take that back. I think he might be ready. I think he could possibly beat Chad Dawson. I think he's ready for probably a Chad Dawson. Um, but Jean Pascal, that's a different story. Um, definitely not ready for Bernard Hopkins, if you ask me. Um, something with Tavares Cloud is that he is easy to be counted. Um, and that's because he throws so many punches. And sometimes when he throws, I think something that he does lack is timing. Um, I, don't, I just think most of the time, and that could be because he doesn't fight frequently, but his timing is, tends to be off. Um, if you look at the long stretches of not fighting with him, Tavoris Cloud fought Clinton Woods August 21st of 2009, and he didn't fight again. You know, prior to that, he didn't fight a year, like from July 2008 to then August 21st, 2009, he didn't even fight. Then after, you know, Clinton Woods, I think he waited probably a year, if not that, probably a year just to fight Glenn Johnson. And I think promotional problems had done it for him because he had just signed with Don King. But promotional problems kind of did it for him to where, you know, he didn't fight frequently at first. Now, you know, he... It's his second, basically it's his first fight this year. He could probably fit in another fight sometime later this year, um, depending on what happens in this fight. But he, the problem with him is, is his timing, I think. I think sometimes he's very impatient, um, and he pretty much likes to come inside and work. In this fight, what he wants to do is he does want to set up Yusuf Mack with the jab. He wants, to, he wants to pretty much set him up off the jab. He wants to use the jab and come forward, come inside, and go into the body, use a lot of pressure, um, use a lot of pressure, and look for um, quick hooks inside as well. Um, getting pretty much is, is getting in that lead foot of use of Mac. Use of Mac's lead foot is usually just straight out there. It's straight out there to where you can just simply you know use the jab and just walk inside and just continue and just continue working. Um, this specific fight, uh, what he wants to do is he does want to walk down Yusuf Mack. Um, he wants to walk him down and look for the knockout, um, maybe in the mid-rounds, um, if he can. Um, he wants to, pretty much, he just wants to be riding. It's like, you know, when, you, when you're playing football and you got the cornerback and the, you know, who watches the wide receiver. And if you're playing man-to-man -man defense, this specific fight is just man-to-man -man offense um, for for um, towards Cloud, man to man offense, being in front of use of Mac the entire fight, using the using a very good work rate, going to the body. Um and a lot of those shots that he does throw, he, he does want to throw to the body. Um and look and probably even look for an overhand right, you know, from a from a mid from a mid range. And he could very well win this fight just based off of that. So who I think is gonna win this fight? I'm gonna go with use of Mac. To lose this fight by knockout in on um, the seventh round, I think Tavoris Cloud has a very. It's going to apply intense pressure to him. I think he's going to find a way to get inside, and I think he's going to find a way to knock him out. So I'm going to go with Tavoris Cloud knockout seventh round. So anyway, guys, that was the distance. Thanks for watching. Peace.